Бажаю здоров'я, шановні українці. Dear Ukrainians, I wish you health. First of all, I thank our Air Force fighters, our counter aircraft fighters, intelligence and everyone who protects and helps protect the sky of Ukraine. Result is 60 shot down missiles. All air commands, center, south, east and west were active. And the fighters of the 96th Anti-Aircraft Missile Brigade, which protect Kyiv region, were especially effective. Our 40 terrorist missiles were destroyed in the sky of the central regions of the country and near Kyiv. I thank you, warriors. But unfortunately, there is a hit. Terrorists need such a large number of missiles in an attack that at least part of their products reached their intended targets. And all their targets are civilian, and these are mainly energy and heat supply facilities. Probably as a result of this war, the meaning of the word terror for most people in the world will be associated primarily with such crazy actions of Russia. In Kruve Rikh, the demolition of the rubble of a residential building, which was hit by one of the Russian missiles, continued all the day of December 16th. The list of the dead so far includes three. My condolences to all the relatives. More than 10 people were injured, including children. Everyone gets help. Emergency power outages were applied across the country, in most cities and regions. In Kyiv and 14 regions, as a result of power outages, water supply halted. Our power engineers and repair crews have already started working during the air alert and are doing everything possible to restore generation and supply. It takes time, but it will be. I ask all our people to be patient now, and I thank everyone whose job is to restore normality at any time and under any circumstances. I also ask the representatives of regional and local authorities to be more active in creating an additional reserve of energy strength. Please work more actively with business, so that more companies join the points of invincibility map. And I ask everyone now, of course, if possible, to take care of those who have the most difficulties. The elderly, families with children, displaced people from war zones or from the occupied territory. If you can help, please help. No matter what the missile warshippers from Moscow are hoping for, it is still will not change the balance of power in this war. They still have enough missiles for several such heavy strikes. We have enough determination and self-belief to return our own after these blows. And one more. The European Union approved the ninth package of sanctions against Russia during the war. Ninth, but obviously not the last, because it is obvious that the pressure needs to be increased. I thank all those leaders and countries who fought for a stronger package. But we will work with the European Commission, with the leaders of the European Union countries, with the European public, so that the existing sanctions policy works towards the end of the war and does not give Russia wrong signals, signals that someone is ready to ease the pressure. I thank everyone who keeps to principles. Glory to all who work for our victory. Glory to all our soldiers who heroically repel all attempts of Russian mercenaries to gain a foothold in Bakhmut. 17th Separate Tank Brigade, 46th Separate Air Mobile Brigade. Glory to you guys. Glory to all who fight for Ukraine. Air Force, thanks again. And the last, I will repeat constantly. Dear our partners, find an opportunity to provide us with a reliable air defense shield. This is saving people's lives. Glory to Ukraine.